It's been 10 days since local restaurants in Missouri were ordered to close their dining rooms. As a result, thousands of workers have lost their jobs. And News 4's Caroline Hecker reports from Forest Park, where several local restaurants came together to support their own. Hi, how are you? What can we get for you today? Here in Forest Park, the line is long, but the service is fast. And then how many donuts? Uh, three. Three, okay. These local business owners have taken a hit over the last few weeks, but their customers are coming through in a big way. I'm a driver for Domino's and love Sugar Fire and it's a good cause. Sugar Fire Smokehouse, Mission Tacos, Dubuque Coffee, Strange Donuts, and High Point, offering breakfast and lunch at a special rate. Pay what you can. Thank Have you. a great day. Thank, Thank you. you. I, I think this community, St. Louis community, is just so charitable, and they really understand how the restaurant community has been affected, and what I'm seeing is people want to do whatever they can to support the places that they frequent. Money raised will go toward the Gateway Resilience Fund. Thank you. Helping your favorite cooks, servers, and bartenders in their time of need. I think, you know, as someone who, you know, makes an income and I haven't, like, lost my job yet, it's kind of my social responsibility to come out, support our businesses. Um, I was born and raised here, so I always want to support all of our businesses. And while the line wraps around the park, customers are eager to show their support. You're doing a great thing. Thank we you. you. We appreciate you coffee. too. Thank you. In Forest Park, Caroline Hecker, News 4.